everyone, it's Claire back again. So we're going to look at the Polish Me Royalty Christmas Collection. And the 2016 Christmas Collection is called Remaking Christmas. Um, and the idea is there are actually 12 polishes in this collection. And it's about having 12 beautiful polishes throughout the 12 days of Christmas. So there's a polish here for every occasion. So if you're going to a party... For New Year's Eve, if you want something that's just subtle and sophisticated. Um, the idea is that there's something for everybody in this collection. So just to let you know, the prices are for the six milliliter, the little heart shaped six milliliter bottles. They're three seventy five individually for the complete twelve bottle set. That's thirty eight pounds. But you can choose three, any three from the 12 for 10 or any six from the 12 for 20. Um, and with the 10 milliliter bottles, that's 575 individually, 58 for the set, 15 for three or 30 pounds for any six from the 12. OK, now, <laughs> now that I've got that out of the way, let's get into the polishes. So... As I said, there are 12. Some of them are glitters, so I've done a black and white here <clears throat> so that we're ready to go with that. This might take a while. Grab a coffee. I've got mine here. And let's make a start. So the first one is called White Kissmas. And this is described as... Well, they've all got little... Uh, Christmas embellishments which is very typical of Polish Me Royalty with the embellishments um, and this is described as uh, white, white matte shapes so there's lots of different shapes in here stars, um, snowflake shapes, squares, dots, hexes, shards there's everything in here and it's in a, a crystal clear base so Let's see what this one looks like over a black. So um, you, you can actually wear this on its own. It says in the... Oh yeah, it's actually got a really nice shimmer to it. Let's see if I can grab one of the um, snowflakes. And there's a square. Um, oh, there's loads of snowflakes on this one. Wow. <laughs> okay, probably do some glitter placement with this one a bit better than I have here. There we go. Oh, lovely. So that's... I really like that, the black and the white. Um, what Sarah's saying is you can use this on its own because it's got that delicate shimmer. So you can have... Um, you know, it looks delicate over a naked nail or you can obviously wear it over a darker colour. I really like the snowflakes in this, so that's White Kissmas, and that's it over black. So next up we have Hogs Watch Night, and I remember seeing Amy swatches of this on Instagram and thinking, oh, I really, I really want to swatch this one, so um, I'm really lucky that Sarah sent me the 12 set in my swatching pack. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So let's have a look. This is based on or inspired by Terry Pratchett. <clears throat> I've still got a sore throat, sorry. Um, and it's a darker take on the traditional like gold polishes at Christmas. And it looks to me like it's got a little bit of, uh, yeah, it's got a green to it. This is quite a, a sheer... formula but it's going to be it's going to build up to a really glittery polish so and it's scented as well it smells of vanilla <laughs> mm. lovely so that's hogs watch night and I'm going to come back and do a couple of coats on this and then we can take a closer look so the next polish is this fabulous, very, very Christmassy. This is Oh Holly Night. And there are loads of 
it just looks like a deconstructed bunch of uh, holly berries. So you've got the berries and the bright green tinsel leaves of the hollies. And this, so this is a cheeky matte glitter topper with cherry red hexes and pine needle like forest green shapes. I'm just reading off the description here. We're going to put this over black. No, actually, let's put it over a white. OK, so you get lots of green. There's one berry. Mm. Yeah, I think you need to fish for this one a little bit. See if I can grab another berry. There's one. There's another one. And what Sarah's saying here is that it's a it's a fun glitter topper, which it absolutely is. It does look like a, a a holly branch has just kind of melted, and I do like it over the white. Um, or you can use the shapes for nail art. So yeah, you can fish around and pull them out and do some nail art with those. But I like that one. That's Hol oh holly night. And the next one is looks like a really pretty shimmery cream. So it's a really delicate purple with a pretty gold shimmer in there. So this is Kissmas at Downton. And this is described as a, a soft purple with gold and pink duochromatic effect elements. So... It's unique and pretty on the nail. Let's have a look at this one. So obviously this is inspired by Downton Abbey. Ooh, it's actually a lot more opaque than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I like this colour. Completely out of focus there, sorry. But yeah, I like this colour. So this is the special regal polish inspired by Downton. So yeah, that's when you're watching your Christmas specials. So I suppose this is dedicated to Christmas TV specials. I am desperately looking for, almost to the point where I'm not bothered about Christmas. I just want to get to New Year because um, Sherlock, oh my God, yeah, Sherlock Holmes is back on again on at New Year and I have just been completely obsessed this year with Sherlock thanks to my friend Callum who <laughs> suggested that I start watching it and now I'm completely obsessed but anyway that's uh, Kissmas at Downton and I'll come back and do another coat for that the next polish is uh, another it's a it's a completely crazy glitter topper so this is described as a true glit glitopolic glitop <laughs> glitopol I can't, my God, how she's... Apocalypse, glitteropolis. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> pink holographic shreds, blue micro hollow, pink micro hollow, green hollow dots, purple hollow dots. It's got everything. The list goes on. So the idea is this is uh, taking inspiration from a classic Christmas TV um, TV show Vicar at Dibley's but I love the Christmas special where she goes around to different all the, the, the village and she ends up having about 60 Christmas dinners um, so yeah this is inspired by um, Vicar of Dibley and I'm going to put this over the black yep there are lots of of shreds and shards and all kinds of things in here glitters and yeah it's very very over the top glitter but I love it over the black let's get some focus if possible I need I need another hand that's what I need or maybe I should try with the zoom again but yeah so all the different types it's just like an explosion of glitter on the nail this looks gorgeous actually over black really really like this one so that's 
tinselitis and yeah I love it it just reminds me I used to get tonsillitis quite a bit when I was younger but um that's what I'm laughing at the next polish is a gorgeous rich gold with a gold gorgeous rich green with a gold metallic shimmer and it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails at the moment I was so desperate to get this on when I opened the pack that I actually dinked it a little bit and then I went straight to bed so I've got you know it's not the best applied manicure but the color is absolutely beautiful you know I like my greens and you can see that gold shimmer in there it's lovely this is called bloody sprouts and Sarah's saying in her description even though we hate sprouts well actually I love sprouts um I pile them up on my plate at Christmas because I forget to have them any other time of year but I absolutely love with loads of butter and black pepper I love sprouts so yeah I will do a quick swatch here even though this is what I'm actually wearing on my nails today um, and I'll come back and do another coat of this but yeah great formula and a very pronounced shimmer in there love this one um, yeah that's bloody sprouts and the next one is this is called Ebenezer which is obviously representing Scrooge um, and it's all the I suppose it represents all the you know Haunt, representing Scrooge post haunting showing his happy festive side but this reminds me of the old um, Scrooge you know the Scrooge movie as well um, and the various different types of movies so this is Ebenezer and again it's got I think it's got this yeah the snowflakes but these are holographic so holographic snowflakes oh and I've used my black um, actually let's try it over the white because it's silver so let's see what this looks like over the white see if we can get those lovely hollow snowflakes there's one Again, a little bit of fishing for the snowflakes. Oh, it keeps sliding down the bottleneck. No. No, didn't manage to get two, just the one. Oops. Sorry, all over the place. But yeah, that's the snowflake and that one looks silver actually but I think there are silver and holographic but you can definitely see in the bottle where the holographic snowflakes are there yeah but this one it requires a little bit of fishing but you get these gorgeous holographic snowflake shapes really pretty like that one so that's Ebenezer And the next one is, this is a thermal polish. Um, <clears throat> and Sarah's great at use, doing lots of different types of um, finishes. And um, I know that she, she did the thermal polish in the Halloween collection, the one that had the little um, skull and crossbones that were revealed when you, when the color, when the temperature changed. So this one is based on Doctor Who. Christmas Invasion and this is based on the um, like the Doctor Who Christmas specials at Christmas and so this is um, the thermal is blue to off so it's blue and then it goes to an off-white um, and it's absolutely packed with gold silver and rose gold flakies blue hollow blue matte hexes and micro dots so there's all sorts of stuff going on in here and it's thermal so the cold state is blue and the warm state is this off-white so we'll let that dry and we'll see if we can get the color to change 
again I'll do a couple of coats on that but I actually really like this in the blue state which is the cold state so that is Kismas Invasion Wow, really having problems today with the focus, but yeah, that's all the different shapes and colours that you can see in there. So I think it feels more like it's in, yeah, it's in its cold state at the moment. But we'll come back to this and we'll see if we can get the colour change. So next up is Merry Kismas. And this is a very feminine, it's described as a cute and feminine pink glitter topper so um okay what i'm going to do is do a, a, another few black and whites and i'll come back okay to speed things up a bit i've put the a couple of blacks and a white an extra white just to have a look at the um the final two couple of glitters and i've also put an extra coat on the other ones that i've swatched as well just to speed things up but while we're waiting for these to dry I just want to show you the next couple. So there are two here to show you. This one is really pretty green, another green. I was really delighted with how many greens were in this collection, actually. This is called Candy Cane Lane, and it's actually scented with um, peppermint. So it's a pastel crelly, and it's packed with red white and green matte shapes so they it's supposed to be the looks like they're all ground up candy cane shapes and colors so yeah this is a really nice crelly actually oh and you can smell the peppermint <laughs> really quite strong so you've got all the little dots in there and the bigger hexes that looks really cool so i'll come back and do another coat of that um but i also wanted to show you this next one here which is sandy claws so this is based uh, inspired on um by the film nightmare before christmas which is obviously a big polish me royalty um favorite I think it's one of Sarah's favourite films. So, yeah, this is a beautiful, deep metallic red with a gold shift. And it actually, and it's described as opaque in one coat, look, so let's have a look. It's, it actually reminds me a lot of, um, oh, it's a little bit pinker, I think. I might have to do a comparison. It reminds me a little bit of No Buy from Pretty Serious. Yes, my application wasn't great there, but I'm fairly certain that you would be able to get this opaque in one coat. Mm, don't know maybe two but I will report back when I wear this if it's a one coater or not so um yeah this is the the red in the collection which I really I really like these colors very me um but I also like the fact that there's a red in there as well so I might do some try and do some nail art with this one some Christmas nail art so this is Sandy Claws And I was just going to say, I think this is scented as well, but it's the, the, the smell of um, Candy Cane Lane is really quite strong. <laughs> and, okay, let's go back to the glitter, the last two glitter toppers that I want to show you. So this one here is Merry Kismas. And this is the delicate and feminine pink. So let's see what this one looks like over white. It's just about dry. Oh yeah. It is really pretty and delicate. Very shiny actually. 
I was a bit worried that there wouldn't be much so it's pink and silver yeah I, I thought it would just be pink but actually there's quite a bit of, of sparkle to this so that's really pretty and then I'm going to try the last one which is EITS which is explosions in the sky and this is based on inspired by um, one of Sarah's favourite bands and one of mine as well actually placebo um, and I know that she's travelling around and going to a lot of placebo gigs at the moment but this is just cram packed with everything so it's sparkly fun hot super holographic but you can be used as a full coverage glitter or as a festive accent nail so let's see let's have a look at both let's see what it looks like over the black Oh my god, wow. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd put a lot on the brush there. Yes, I can see how that would be full coverage. It's got everything in there. That looks gorgeous. Let's just do a quick to see what it looks like on its own. It just, it really did seem very densely packed. Yeah, I think if you sponge this on, you'd be able to get this opaque, no problem. So this is the New Year's Eve polish. Um, and actually, I think that would look super on New Year's Eve over a black. So I'm going to do uh, apply some second coats and we'll come back and take a closer look. Okay, so I've put some extra coats on and let's take a closer look. So the first one here was, oops, that's White Kissmas. And that's the one with the lovely white snowflakes and white matte squares. <laughs> Come on, Claire. Um, the next one here, I've put three coats on. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Hugs Watch Night and then we had Oh Holly Night there's so many I'm getting confused here there we go Oh Holly Night which is this really pretty holly berry glitter and then we had Kissmas at Downton which is this gorgeous just how it's just a sumptuous purple with that really pretty glitter sorry huge coughing fit there I think I must have caught something from Mrs. C. Um, but yeah, that's Downton. Beautiful. Uh, the next one was Tinselitis, which was this one here with the very fine shredded bar glitters and shards and various different shapes. Then we had Bloody Sprouts, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. And I put two coats on the swatch wheel there again, really pronounced shimmer. Ebenezer, which was this one here with the hollow snowflakes, silver and hollow snowflakes. Kissmas Invasion, which was the thermal. So the warm state is white. Um, it's not. <coughs> okay, so it's not quite dry and I just had another coughing fit, but I'm going to put it under the hot tap and see if we can get it to turn its off-white um, warm temperature. Okay, so that's the warm state and let's see if I can get the cold tap going. It's not very cold but let's see if we can get that back to a more blue state. Yeah, and there's the blue again. So it does have a subtle blue to off-white, like dark blue to pale blue colour shift. Then we had, everything's soaking wet now. <laughs> then we had um, Merry Christmas, which is the pink glitter topper. And I've put that over a black and a white. So hopefully you can see that there. Yeah, 
that's the sparkly pink glitter Merry Christmas then I did two coats of Candy Cane Lane which is this really gorgeous green Crelly, beautiful and then we had Sandy Claws which I'm on the sec I did put a second coat on here which did make it opaque so what and again these are clear so it may or may not be one coat for me but I'll I'll let you know um this does remind me a lot of no buy by pretty serious so I'm going to do a comparison with these two um I'll see if I can do another comparison actually before christmas and then the very last one is explosions in the sky and the I actually did three coats there which I think you will be able to get opaque and that's one coat over black this is going on forever and ever and ever and I'm soaking wet <laughs> I've got mess everywhere um, but yeah the most important thing to let you know is I'm going to try and get this up on Thursday it's Thursday the 15th 16th 15th today um, because Sarah's actually having a flash sale at the moment on Friday and Saturday the 16th and 17th so 20% off everything with put all orders with Polish Me Royalty. I'll link all the details below. Have a wonderful Christmas everybody. Let me know if you managed to pick up any of this set. I know that there's a problem with the Royal Mail next week and hopefully fingers crossed that won't affect our online orders but um, yeah have a look at this collection it's fantastic and I will see you in the next video. Bye!